Hello everyone, it's time for some more Xbox Live Indie Games. This time of the week of uh, March the 18th to March the 24th, 2012. And we're starting off with some hot ninja action. Ninja Super Warrior Extreme. Well, let's see what this is about. That's some nice chip tuny music so far. A Fierce Warrior Trains. Alright, so we got some side-scrolling action. Tutorial. Uh, nice smooth motion, actually. Controls feel good. And a fierce warrior kills. You can attack. Alright, no problem. The the look and feel to this game... Whoops, oh, I died in a hit. So yeah, you die in one hit in this game. The look and feel to it kind of reminds me of uh, Super Meat Boy. And that is a good thing. The controls feel very good. They feel very smooth, very... Uh, very precise. And I do like the, uh, the sprite work and the, uh, the chip-tuning, chip tuny sounding, uh, audio so far. Different than Super Meat Boy, of course, in that this game you attack, you have a sword attack, and that you have to defeat a boss to beat each level. But similar in that we do die in one hit. Whoop. Alright. Those knives, I'll assume, can kill me in one hit, like the enemies can, because they don't have any kind of life bar, so... Oh. Yeah, the enemies can attack, too. They have a sword as well. And that boss seems to take two hits to kill, so we traded hits, and since it only took one to kill me... Alright, but you can attack very fast, so just kind of mash on the button to get those two hits out before you can get his out. No problem just swinging the sword around really fast, too. Don't need to stop, really. Oh. Yeah, so I'm really quite enjoying this game so far. This is, uh... Actually considerably better uh, quality than you usually get on Xblig. When it comes to side-scrolling action games. And now it is about justice. Okay, so we got a different... S ...style of level. Let's see... Okay. Platforming getting a bit trickier with the buzzsaws and such. Hmm, uh-oh. I think I have to keep moving here. Yeah, I have to keep moving. Out of the way. One, uh, 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 okay, yes. Okay, made it that time, and... That was, that's, that was pretty good, actually. That was a pretty good, uh, obstacle. Good trap. I don't think I can hit that block. Right. Mm. And uh, a lot like Super Meat Boy, you do restart very fast, so that's good. One of the uh, elements of Super Meat Boy that, that added to the difficulty, I mean, added to the fun of that game's difficulty, was that it did not really penalize you for dying. You, resta you restarted really fast. And uh, you didn't really have to, uh, oops, uh-oh. You didn't really have to work your way back to the place where you died since most of the le- 
Okay, most of the levels were usually one screen or not. Actually, not. There were plenty of levels. Actually, plenty of levels that were more than one screen. Thinking about it, but still, they were not large in general. Oh no! I'm actually disappointed about that because I was having fun. Um. I actually do want to check out the rest of this game because this uh, this was pretty good. I like the feel of the game. I liked how uh, how it played. I like how it looks and sounds. So uh, that's Super Ninja Warrior Extreme, and it is a lot better than what we usually see on here so far. Anyway, we'll see if I don't know if I if I try it. I'll see if uh, it keeps up. But yeah, if you like uh, if you like side scrolling action games, this is. Probably one of the better ones, if not one of the best ones, on the service. Next is Ogre's Phantasm Sword Quest. So let's see, uh, let's play the game and see if uh, those four words being put together make any sense. Alright, here we are on the world map, and... We can go to a shop, we can go to stage one. Let's go to stage one. Alright. There is an ogre. He has a football helmet on his head. So basically the way this goes is... As far as I've played so far, we end up, uh, start out in sort of a little area. Sort of a little arena-like area. And we have these little... Goblins that we can kill. Uh, with our character, uh, it looks like it's Momo. Who carries this enormous sword, because why wouldn't she be carrying that? And there's that big ogre right there, and they- oh yeah, we can jump really high. So we can do that. We have to kill that ogre. And, uh... That ogre will try to kill us. We can, I think, kind of ignore the goblins, because... Well, if we get too close to, to the ogre... Let's see if we can get him to do this. Yeah, there- oh, he hit- okay, he hit us. But he hit those goblins, which is what I wanted him to do. The game looks a lot better than a lot of Exploit games. But they probably could have spent a bit more time on the controls. Alright, so what we have to do... He's got that helmet on his head. That's protecting him, so we're gonna want to get that off. Let's see how we go about doing that. Whoop! Now, let me get to some higher ground. Alright. Alright. Alright, he's coming closer to us. Let's see if now we're high enough to reach that helmet. Now I missed. Get back up there. Oh, okay, yeah, the game got real choppy all of a sudden, but uh, we hit him in the head. Yeah, there we go, and we want to try to repeat that, so we can break that helmet off of him. Uh, if we want, we can collect gold that those goblins are dropping as they die. Still haven't broken it. This, this game seems like kind of an oddity to me, because it seems like they put a lot of work into the presentation. Oh, hold on, the, the helmet's broken, and he... It's a big green glowy thing, thing down there, and uh, did I die? Yes. Yes, I died. Might as well try that again, see if we do any... And it, like I said, you can tell that there's a lot more work in the presentation of this game than most x games. Um... Though... The controls are not the best. I mean, they're serviceable. They, they work, kind of. I mean, I guess I see the, uh, the idea behind making a game that looks like this for x -Blig. It, it does stand out, doesn't it? Since you don't really, you don't. Why is it? 
gets real, real choppy. You don't really expect exploit games to look any good, so when one looks half decent. Okay, I'll leave it up to you to decide which half this is. It's not, not very fun to play, if you can't tell. Oh, let's see if I can get that green thing now. Did I die again? Alright. Let me just try that one more time. Because I'm sure I can get a little farther than that. Alright, getting on higher ground again. The first time I uh, booted up the game, it had a little sort of an anime intro, but I didn't get it this time. I guess because I already had a, a save file. But I'm not actually starting the game at a, at a higher level, I'm just restarting it again. But I still didn't get that intro, which is unfortunate. By the way, uh, as you watch this video, if you may notice any choppiness or the video freezing in some parts, that's not the video. That's, uh, that is the game. Am I getting hurt when I hit him in the, in the helmet? Because it seems like I'm taking some damage when I do that. Alright. Now let's see if I can actually survive after breaking the helmet. Let me drop that green thing. I want that green thing. Let's see what that is. Um, that was a lot of money, I guess. All right, did big time damage because I got him in the, in the bare head. I don't know if the the following levels will be much different than this. What? Oh, that. Okay, that kind of stopped entirely for an instant. I don't, or I don't know if the rest of the game is just this. Hold on, did I kill him? Yes. I killed El Gigante. Stage clear. Even though the goblins are still alive. It travels an ogre extermination on five swords and the nine battlefields. You know, in the previous game we looked at Super Ninja Warrior Extreme, that would have been parody text. I don't think it is here. Okay, so that's all there was for the demo. Uh, yeah, that's Ogre's Phantasm Sword Quest. I can't recommend it. It looks better than your usual x game, but, uh, doesn't seem to play so well, and I don't know if the gameplay actually changes from what we saw here. But it's it's an interesting oddity for this service because it's just because someone put so much effort apparently into the presentation. That's Ogre's Phantasm Sword Quest. Those four words put together still don't really make much sense. All right, are you ready for some red hot poker? Because I am. Yep, time to play some poker. This is how we play poker. Okay, the dealer's dealing me the cards. I got a pair, and those cards disappeared. That's how poker works. If you're not a card shark like me, you won't you may you may not know how this game is played. Yeah, stacking my cards just like in poker. Pair. Mm-hmm. You yep, yeah, you tell me about it, dealer. I got a pair. And I'm getting a couple dollars every time I get a pair. Yeah, that's how poker works. Pair. New level. Right. The dealer tells me I'm going into a new level after getting ten dollars. You know, I've seen I've seen the world championships of poker on TV. I know how this works.
prepare. Hmm. Of course, the real strategy of the game is... Do you go for the easy pairs, or do you try to set up... Pair. Getting a straight or a, or a flush. Pair. And try to go for the big money. Or do you play it safe? See, if you've never played this type of poker in the casino, they basically uh, angle the table. They slant it, so as they deal the cards, they slide down the table. And you have to make sure that they slide down into the proper slots to get the hand that you want. That's, that's what makes it red hot. See? I got the straight. And that brings me into the new level. See? It's, it's poker. Pair. Pair. It's all the drama of, uh, of high stakes money games. Where you have, you know, you have some experienced card sharks staring at each other across the table, trying to bluff each other. Whose cards will slide down the table first? Uh, I'm not going to go for the, the two queens. I'm going to wait for the ace. I, I could go for that. Yes, you see, the, the inexperienced player might think this game is misnamed. They might buy it thinking it's, uh... It's, you know... Something else they might resemble as being poker, and... And might get annoyed when they say, what is this? This isn't poker. But this is only the most risky, high-stakes version of poker. Because you're playing against gravity itself. And your hands can go in any direction. I mean, sure, you're used to getting a straight going from left to right, but how about from top to bottom? Hmm? I don't think you've ever done that. Two-dimensional poker. The music and the uh, the excited tone of the dealer only enhances the the backroom casino atmosphere that you get from from red hot poker. If you don't believe me, just step into any casino in Vegas and just say you want to play red hot poker. And they'll know what you're talking about. But don't go in there unless you're willing to play some big money games. Pair. 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 Why am I still playing this? Next up this week is Picture Puzzle. Only one picture is unlocked during trial. So let's see. Let's go with the, I guess, easy uh, difficulty. Okay. So, you know those sliding block puzzles that everyone likes so much?
Next is Spoids. Well, let's press start and begin the game. And I believe it'll start with us choosing our backstory. If we uh, want to be Earthborn, Soul Survivor, or... Uh... Oh, actually, no, we're just starting our training. So let's, uh, let's see what this is about. No need to be nervous. This is purely a training exercise. Just listen to T. Reiner and you'll figure it all out. Approaching Aelion. Good luck. It's about time you got here. Go ahead and build a pulse laser. And hey, step on it. We haven't got all day. Oh, well, alright. So basically the way this works is, um, it's tower defense. Kinda. He wants us to build a pulse laser. Uh, we can build on these walls. The glowing blue walls. Let's do that. Cost forty dollars. Not forty space bucks, but just dollars. Health and resources are displayed on top. Objectives are on the right. Only one is needed to succeed. The time left until your objective is complete is on top. The locations voids enter from are highlighted green. The locations we are protecting are highlighted red. Incoming spoids are shown on the scanner above. Get ready. Alright, so the spoids these are... These are squawks. Yep. The weakest spoids we know so far. Pulse lasers will take these guys down, no problem. Well, we do have to build a few. It's not like uh, that one will just take them out by itself. And as we... Ah, spinners. Definitely stronger than squawks. Try a burst launcher on these guys. It's a bit more expensive, but watch what these babies do. Alright. So, this is just a tutorial, getting us used to the weapons. Rockers are a little stronger than spinners, so make sure to keep building up your defenses. The spoils we destroy give us more resources to build additional towers, so bag them and tag them. Ba how would I tag them? They don't seem to have toes? Or even names. Let's see how you handle the bruisers. They're the toughest boys for their size. You'll need to rough these guys up pretty good. Trust me. All right, yeah, I, I believe you. You know, I don't don't need to Zoom convince me. Zoomers approaching. Zoomers will blow by your defenses if you aren't careful. Build an EMP generator to slow these guys to a crawl. Alright, doing pretty well so far. Alright, and we're just getting the, uh, the first kind again. So, you see basically how this works. We kill enemies, we get money. We use the money to build more defenses. Crap! The security systems here have gone offline. Damn it! They seem to be heading to the mainframe station. Hold them back while I get the systems back online. Top of the line voice acting too, as you can tell. I like how the music is so dramatic for uh, for this. What we're seeing on the screen. Yeah, I'm just gonna build a whole lot of lasers, just line the walls with them, because that seems to be doing okay. You sure you can handle this? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the game seems uh, very well presented, you know. It looks good. Uh, controls feel fine. Zoom is approaching. Zoom is approaching. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those fast ones. Um, let's see, what about right here with the gener- Oh, I can't actually afford the generator. By the way, the scanner up top lets you see what spoids are approaching. Systems are almost back online. Just need a little more time. Watch out! Enforcer coming your way. These guys take a load of firepower to take down. Take them out. All right. So this is uh, what do you call it? An enforcer? It's it's big. It's big, so it'll take a lot of shots. But like I said, the the game looks good. The controls well. So 
It seems like this week so far we're getting uh, some surprisingly high quality offerings on Xplig. Systems are almost online. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. We right. need some more guns here. On my baby. Just need to contain the spoils that got out. You make sure none of them get through while I close past to the mainframe. Yeah, we seem to be doing well so far. I mean... Usually, what we get on Xblig is barely recognizable to an actual game. Uh, I'm not. I'm not big into tower defense, but I mean, this seems all right. Probably noticed, Spoids never attack the towers we deploy. They're programmed with a single objective and never change course. Well, that seems like faulty programming. Maybe that gets switched up later on and they start attacking my units. Seems like kind of an odd name though, right? Spoids, considering how serious this game seems to be portraying itself as. It's kind of a goofy name. Zuma's approaching. Zuma's approaching. Oh, the time limit uh, expired already. I was actually having a pretty good time playing that. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised. Um, that seemed all right. You know, like I said, it seemed like an actual game. It controlled well, looked good. Voice acting is, you know, not the best, but better than you might expect from something on Xblick. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised at what we've been getting so far this week. This might be overall the best week we've seen so far. Though I shouldn't say that right now. Uh, let's wait till the end before we determine how good this week was. But uh, that's Spoids. That was that was pretty good tower defense. 